WGN Evening News at 4. Well, three suspects are wanted for allegedly robbing and attacking a CTA passenger. It was one of several violent incidents involving the Transit Authority just this week. WGN's Gainer Hall is live on the north side now with more on what the CTA is doing to boost safety. Yeah, Ben and Lorda, CTA is using more security guards as a visible presence to try to deter crime, but some union leaders say the city needs to do more. You have to go go and do some things that's different than what you've normally been doing because the things that we're doing are not working. Announced today, more teams of unarmed private security guards will be traveling red and blue line trains during the day and overnight as part of CTA's larger strategy to address safety concerns along with Chicago Police, which provides law enforcement for the agency. I mean, a lot of my members are afraid to come to work. You know, they don't know what's going to happen on a daily basis. Eric Dixon is president of the union that represents rail operators. They've been protesting for more safety protections for workers. He questions whether security guards will actually deter crime, and he says CTA needs its own police force. You know, you keep seeing people getting shot outside the stations, things happening in the stations. You have to have some form of policing to stop it. Several violent incidents were reported at the Grand Red Line station just this week. CTA releasing these pictures showing three people wanted for taking a man's phone and attacking him when he tried to get it back on a train Tuesday night. Early Monday, a 16-year-old boy, Vidarian Knight, was shot and killed by a gunman who was waiting for him to come out of the station. And hours later, police say no one was hurt when shots were fired during a fight on the train platform. We're sort of at a turning point because we've had low ridership during COVID and we want ridership to grow. So we, we need to have a system that people feel welcomed on and safe on. Audrey Winnink is the transportation director for the Metropolitan Planning Council. It was a conscious decision, I think, by the CTA to use security guards that are unarmed to minimize the potential of any kind of violent conflict. She says she hopes the security guards are trained in de-escalation techniques and with concerns about over policing, she says the city needs creative strategies. We have seen a program of transit ambassadors in San Francisco, and these are uh, uniformed personnel also unarmed that have a social services background. CTA officials say the security guards will be working on enforcing the rules of conduct, and the agency is also looking to expand partnerships with social service providers. Reporting live from Lakeview, Gaynor Hall, WGN.